Congressman, uh, you just heard what Nick had to say. Uh, Five-year felony. He thinks there could be much in here that could 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 put the president in jail if he's not reelected. Do you think this is fraud? Well, it's certainly very suspicious, and we know that uh, President Nixon uh, turned to the American people and said he wanted to show that he was not a crook, and so he disclosed to the Joint Committee on Taxation information that they explored and found that indeed he had underpaid his taxes. President Trump's hidden everything. We now know from the great work the New York Times did, the kind of work you did last year on the Trump Organization, that Trump hides everything. He secrets away his tax returns because he doesn't really believe in paying taxes. Uh, and he lives off, as a freeloader, he lives off uh, the taxes that other people are paying. It's very, very appalling to see this happen. Whether it is criminal tax fraud, I'll leave that to the prosecutors, and I think there are prosecutors looking at it mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the state, in the state of New York and Manhattan. But I'm very concerned about the message this sends to Americans who are out there struggling right now, who know that a president who pays $750 as his total contribution for the operation of our government, our national security, our domestic security, other vital needs, that that is just flat wrong. You know, one of the things the time points out, you know, and, and I, as, as we were pointing out, you know, obviously he still is benefiting from all these things that he says he isn't. But they actually go through Trump properties, right? We know about the Trump International Hotel, but conferences and meetings at his Doral Resort in Florida, Bank of America paid $7 million in 2015-2016. Uh, a trade association paid uh, over a $1 million in 2017 and 2018, right? This is while he was running and then a sitting president. All that money was allowed to come in. What, what does that tell you, Congressman? Well, it tells me that uh, maybe that's why things are so sorry here in Washington right now, because uh, they sought special treatment. They got special treatment. Uh, he's so dependent on foreigners coming in and staying at his hotel. And you can tell from the data we now have as a result of this great Times investigative reporting that that's because he needs the money. He's getting uh, money from Turkey, getting money from the Philippines right now, and few and among the few of his profitable properties to make up for the losses that he has here. That plus, as you noted earlier, this huge amount of debt. He calls himself the king of debt, and certainly he is, but he won't disclose which foreign entity he is in debt to, and it's very troubling in terms of our national security. And do you have any idea of, of where, who, to whom? He is so indebted? You know, all we can do is look at the kind of evidence you presented, uh, and on more than one occasion, Trump's children have talked about Russia. They've talked about their friends in Saudi Arabia. We know Trump just bragged about protecting uh, the killers in Saudi Arabia, the prince who dismembered a journalist. Uh, that's the kind of thinking that's involved here. Uh, I just believe. He does. He's, he's doing what he told the American people he, he would do. He's running our country like his business, and he may well run it into the ground. We see these tens of thousands of okay. families that are harmed from his mismanagement of the pandemic. Uh, okay. I think they're seeing Trump's business sense in operation, and we're all suffering from it.